Hello, Pisces. This is your February monthly love reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Thank you guys. I appreciate you so much. Let's see. We're going to do a Celtic cross, you guys, for this month. The energy that is around my Pisces for the month. I'm going to lay these cards face down. I like it like that, guys. Let's see what the challenge is here. And what the underlying issue is. Past events. Recent happenings. Best possible outcome here. That one wanted to flip. So I'm going to take it. Okay, that one wanted to flip too. That is what's coming in. Let's see how you guys are viewing this situation here. And your outside influence. Your hopes. Your fears. And the overall outcome for my Pisces for the month. All right. What's going on around my Pisces right now? Ooh. Feeling good. Feeling good here. Um, feeling successful around something. Something that has happened, I feel. Um, you guys are feeling pretty good about it. Your confidence is coming up. Um, you're doing things that make you feel good. And I think you're being recognized by other people for whatever it is that you're doing here. Okay? Let's see what your challenge is. Hmm. <laughs> to be confident. To keep this confidence. Whatever it is that you've got going on right now is to keep your stability. To continue to do the things that, that make you happy. That fulfill you. Okay? Not letting anything drag you down in the mud. Alright, my guys? Let's see what was going on in the past. Hmm. Maybe you guys have entered into a relationship. Or either this is just you just getting your stability, feeling good about yourself, only really involving yourself with people that you feel like are on the same vibration with you. You know? I like it here. Laying down burdens. Um, getting rid of those things that have like held you down, anchored you down in the past and kept you from moving forward here all right let's see how you're viewing this situation yeah i think you're cutting out anything that um that you feel like is toxic you are speaking your mind if this was something that you you know didn't feel comfortable doing before but now you feel confident that whatever nonsense comes your way that you will be able to cut it out before it even gets started good okay Let's see what the issue is for you guys. Yeah, harmony. This is what you want. This is what you want in your life. Okay? Harmony, balance. And you only want to involve yourself with situations and people that are wanting the same thing. You know? This is also reuniting here. Okay? For some of you. Some of you have gotten into a relationship where you feel like, okay... You know, this is good for me. This person is good. They're nice and balanced. Um, they want the same things that I want. I'm able to, you know, speak my mind here. I can say what I want to say without feeling criticized even. Okay? Let's see what the best possible outcome is here. For some of you, this is marriage. Okay? For others of you, this is just being able to, you know, stand your ground on the things that you want, the things that you believe, your morals, you know? This is being able to, like, you know, not waver from the things that you want. Establishing boundaries, even, for things that uh, you feel like are trying to bring you down. People who are trying to bring you down. Okay? Taurus energy. <clears throat> What's coming in for you guys? Yeah? Hmm. This is happiness. Happiness. Reuniting. For those of you who are single, this is just happiness. This is you socializing again, getting out there, dating, that sort of thing, okay? For those of you who are, you know, have just gotten into a relationship, this is you guys, you know, just going and doing things together, 
being happy if you're thinking about reuniting with someone you've been talking with them and they are bringing to the table the things that you feel like are good for you this is you guys getting back together and really making a go of this thing okay being nice and balanced with each other your outside influence is you knowing the truth you being able to see the truth in situations okay seeing through the fog this is also somebody revealing to you some truth that they want to reunite that they'll they'll do better you know that they are better they've learned some things here okay your hopes hmm, is that you will get a proposal for some of you okay and I do see marriage here for some of you this is a proposal this is what you're hoping, and this is what's coming in for some of you. Um, for others of you, this is being able to find somebody that vibes with you because you are getting back out there. For those of you who are single, you're getting back out there. You're having a good time. You're socializing with people, um, going to parties, going to events, You know, having people over even, going out to dinner. This, this is you being able to interact with people and, and find that one that vibes with you. Okay? and just be happy in general your fear hmm is is wasting your time okay wasting your time and energy on something um, investing in something that's not going to be beneficial for you okay just waiting and waiting and waiting for someone to come in that um, that really vibes with you somebody that you deserve in your life that will treat you well who you can spend your time with. So some of you, your fear is not finding the person that you know really is on that level with you, um, mentally, emotionally, even. Okay. Your overall outcome for the month is that you will have to fight to see the truth in certain situations. Um, you will have to continue to fight for what you believe in here. So I feel like this is this is you guys not letting your guard down in situations. Also not being guarded. Okay. This is fighting for those things that you believe. Not let anyone you know um, invade your your boundaries here. Okay. That is what this is. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and pull clarifier for that Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Okay. Yeah. The Queen of Swords. That's it. <laughs> Not pulling another card. Okay. Because it's repeating itself here. You have the Queen of Swords here. And then the Queen of Swords is clarifying the Five of Swords. Okay. This is not letting anyone infiltrate the boundaries that you set for yourself okay not letting anyone um, you know throw you off or have you uh, timid and not being able to to say the things that you want to say not to um, you know to just get away with things that they shouldn't be getting away with I feel like this is you being able to cut out things that basically you don't want in your life that bring you down that that knock you down from being your higher self all right so my Pisces friends we have Aquarius uh, Gemini Libra even Taurus energies here um, Virgos here Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, quite possibly, is here. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, energy. All right, guys. So that is what I have for you. Very positive reason. Re reason. Reading. Um, I feel like a lot of you are, um, you know, you're coming back into your power. Because I feel like somebody, you, you kind of lost yourself uh, somewhere with somebody. But um, that is no longer. Okay, so I will be speaking with you guys soon.